Hello Gemini, how are you guys doing today? I am so excited because today we are talking about the year 2020 and advice to help you reach your goals. This is a somewhat timeless reading, of course it does apply to the year 2020, but whether you stumble upon this video in January or in November, it doesn't really matter. I'm hoping that this advice will help you to reach your goals whenever you happen to stumble upon this video. This video is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know what your Moon or Rising sign is, I will leave a calculator down in the description box below where you can find out that information. So without further ado, let's get into this tarot reading. So today we're asking for advice for Gemini. What advice can we give to Gemini for the year 2020? What are the energies surrounding Gemini? What do they need to know? What advice is there for Gemini? Thank you. Two of Swords and the King of Wands. First of all, this, this pairing is actually quite interesting here. We have the Two of Swords, which has this person who is blindfolded, right? And she's got these two swords, and the two swords are pointing down towards this reflection of the moon, okay? And moons, they symbolize you know, their reflections, but specifically reflections of yourself. And so I'm feeling like for 2020, you guys are going to be doubting the decisions that you make, but you need to start trusting yourself. Feeling like you are this king of wands. He is a natural born leader. He is an entrepreneur. He's a visionary in many ways. And if you want to get into this energy, you need to trust yourself. You need to remove this blindfold and see that you are capable of reaching this, that you are capable of reaching your dreams. Sure, decisions might be scary, especially if they involve um, making sacrifices, whether short-term or long-term. You know, if you want to get your dream job, it might involve quitting what you're currently doing. And that can create some insecurity. But if you have another job lined up that is potentially better and one that you enjoy and, you know, if this other job feels right for you, then it is time to let go of that fear and take that step. You know, um, this isn't about making a blind judgment. This is, it's about taking calculated risks this year. Sometimes we have to get out of our comfort zone and explore new things, explore new avenues, new adventures in order to get to where we want to go. It's about feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Getting out of your comfort zone. But again, it's removing this blindfold and not doing it without understanding your situation. Like it's not just jumping in head first because you think this is what you want to do. You know, it's, a, it's about actually making calculated decisions, even though letting go of things can be scary, even though that stepping out of your comfort zone can be scary. It's about trusting your instincts and knowing that you are a capable individual. Thank you. The Seven of Swords. This is you feeling like you've been betrayed in the past. And perhaps you have been on certain levels. Um, but this is about taking your experiences 
learning from them and moving forward. Maybe that's why you're choosing to remain blindfolded because if you don't witness the event, then it, it can't hurt you. Um, if you don't see the different options, then you can't make the wrong decision. Whoa, okay, let's see. Well, only one card actually landed face up and it's the King of Cups, right? Uh, none of those are face up. Okay, King of Cups. King of Wands, King of Cups, lots of, lots of empowering energy there. Um, yes, yeah, so you've got the King of Cups who, you know, look at him. He is a strong, capable individual. He is compassionate. He's diplomatic. He rules his kingdom, but... He does so compassionately. He does so with love. He does it because he loves what he's doing. Um, he's not doing it for fame or fortune. And I feel like that is what you guys want to accomplish. You know, it's, it's about understanding why you want to do it. And if you want to be famous, it's all good. You can be famous. But why? Why do you want to be that? And when you can understand your why, you can move past this fear. This fear of being hurt, this fear of being... It's almost like you're feeling like with the Seven of Swords that you're going to be blamed for this person who took these things. If things don't go right, it's like you're going to be blamed. And then, so it's about stepping out of this energy and empowering yourself. It's about changing your mindset. Instead of thinking about the what-ifs, in terms of what could go wrong, think about the what ifs, if things could go right, right? So she's got these two sorts. One's the negative, one's the positive. You can look at both, but why not focus on the positive? Why not focus on what could go right? And even with the seven of swords here, I mean, this person has stolen five swords, but he's left two. So instead of thinking of it as like, oh, they stole everything, think, well, I still have these two. And this is more than I could put, I, this is more than I would have had if they took everything. These two things are very valuable to me. I appreciate the fact that I still have them. I am grateful for the fact that I still have them. You know, look on the positive side. This also allows you to get more. Perhaps you can have an insurance claim to get even better swords. Um, or it's just, now this is, mental space of something you no longer have to think about, something you no longer have to worry about. Physical space, this is something you no longer have to dust, right? It's about using this energy, this king energy, and believing in yourself and what you are capable of. You can rule your kingdom, but you have to believe in yourself first. Is there any advice for Gemini? Thank you. We have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. And then we have trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Yeah. It, the trust your path speaks so well with this two of swords. If you knew that you were supported in choosing the positive sword, the sword that was going to take you towards your dreams, what would you do? You would take it, right? You would grab the opportunity and you would go for it. So know that the universe is supporting you. Know that God, source, however you want to phrase it, know that you are being supported. And then we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand behind you. And again, it's so interesting because this is, you know, this card here, Trust Your Path, is talking about being supported. And you are being supported by these ancient ancestors. You are being supported by the spirit realm. It's time to connect with yourself on a deeper level 
and know that you are capable of amazing things and that you are being supported and guided. Any more advice for Gemini? Enchanting gifts. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> your enchanting gifts are your guidance that you have. Perhaps it's your intuition. Perhaps, you know, I feel like you've been suppressing this knowledge that you have about the path you need to take. And it's time to stop suppressing it. It's time to stop being afraid and embrace the gifts that you have. You know, they, they don't need to be spiritual. They can be physical. They can be mental. They can be emotional. Um, everyone has gifts. And it's time to share your gifts with the world. Exchange your gifts for monetary value. Exchange your gifts for love, for, you know, whatever it is that you're dreaming of. You can exchange your gifts if you understand your value. One more card, please. Thank you. Regeneration. Yeah. When you remove this blindfold, when you feel like you can embrace this king energy within you, when you can embrace this confidence, you're going to feel like your life is regenerating to a whole new level. Things are going to start to blossom, to happen, to emerge out of what seemed like darkness things are just going to start appearing you know love wealth health all of these things are going to start appearing to you when you can believe in yourself and believe that you are worthy of these things so my best advice for you for 2020 is to Work on self-love, to believe in yourself, to believe that you are capable and deserving of whatever it is that you want. You have lots of support, whether this be from the spiritual realm or whether this be from the physical realm. Um, and it's time to, to embrace this. It's time to acknowledge your worth to yourself and then allow others to see that worth and begin to exchange your worth for what it is that you want. Okay, so those are my messages for you, Gemini. If you enjoyed this reading, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.